Hey, Shalom Israel. Once again, it's the Brother Kalab here to the Spirit to bring out another video. But before I get started, I want to give all honor and glory to my power, which is Yahweh Kalab by Shem Yahushai by Shem Rakadosh. And I wanted to speak on this uh, this article I found. Um, it's regarding, you know, um, of course, Esau um, uh, slays another um, another so-called black man, you know. And, uh, you know, and especially on the weekend uh, before Martin, Martin Luther King. So to the spirit, I anticipate a hey, and this is in Los Angeles and hey, Los, Ange Los, Los Angeles is going up. And I remember growing up in L.A. and I went I lived through those um, do those Rodney King riots. And I could anticipate, you know, this thing, uh, man, it's going to get it's going to get ugly. So I just want to go into this video. It says a cousin of a prominent Black Lives Matter founder died after being tased by police. It says a cousin of a Black Lives Matter co-founder, Patrice Kalor, dies after Los, Los Angeles police repeatedly tased him in the middle of the street last week, according to police body cam footage and his family's account. It says Keon Anderson and 31 year old high school teacher and father was trying to get help after a traffic collision when he was chased, held down by multiple officers and tased for over 90 seconds as he begged for help. Anderson's death, one of three fatalities stemming from LA's LAPD's use of force already this year is sparking fresh calls for police reform in the city that's long been calling for racial justice. And I have the video of him being tased. I don't know if that's really going to be edifying, so I'll just uh, hold off on that. But I want to speak into the th the consequence that's going to uh, going to manifest after uh, after this. Of course, you know the ju uh, the judgment of the Lord. You know, uh, Yah uh, Bashan Shai brings the judgment of the Lord, and he does no iniquity. You know, so ultimately, you know, this guy being judged like that, he wasn't right in the spirit. Ultimately, but I want to speak in regards to prophecy because this is going to um, escalate. Um, you know, uh, tensions, uh, in society is going to tension all these things. So ultimately it's going to bring that, uh, that race war, uh, uh, and this is all through the spirit, the water, you know, uh, escalating things as we move, move closer to, to the day of Yahweh Bashim Shah, you know, we're seeing all these things plays out and our elders have told us these things that it, these, uh, these spirits of vengeance, um, and these murderous spirits would increase in these times. And that's actually scriptural as well. So like I got the wrong one there. No problem. Second Ezra chapter 9 and 3 says, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. And that's what we're going to see. And that's what we're seeing. It says, Then shalt thou will understand that the Most High spoke of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, for like as all that is made manifest in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Even so... The times also the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and ends and endings and effects and signs. So we see Yah Bashim Shai stirring up, stirring up spirits, you know. Second Ezra chapter 15 and 16 says, For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princesses, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So we're going to see, and this is me trying to get something through the spirit. We're going to see, um, uh, I just want to, uh, uh, the, uh, spoiling with the sword. We're going to see these racial tensions escalate, uh, through the spirit. And I believe this is in second, second Ezra. So if I haven't already been in that chapter, Ezra, KJV. Salakia. So uh, second Ezra chapter sixteen and seventy one. Let me see if this is. I mean, we're gonna see. I'm not trying to see if this one's relevant. Let me see if I got something here. All right, that's not that's not going to, but we see Esau's hatred, um, for Jake, you know, escalating. We see so we are want to We're going to go into those racial tensions, right? Obadiah chapter one and ten says, "For the violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever." 
Let me see if there's any more. It says, in the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that the stranger carried away captive his forces, and foreigners entered into his gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even thou was as one of them, but thou shouldest not look on the day of thy brother's and thy brother in the day that he became a stranger, neither thou shalt have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the in the day of their destruction, neither shouldst thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress. And you know, these Edomites they, they get a kick, you know. That's what Esau gets off on. He gets off on seeing Jake being destroyed. But through the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shah is gonna rot, and that's the spirit right there. Uh Judah's gonna be roused up. Uh And that's what we're going to see shall be, be roused to the spirit. Genesis 49 and 9 says, Judah is a lion swoop from the prey, my son, thou art gone up. He, he stooped down and he, he crouched as a lion and as an old lion who shall rouse him up. And that's what, and that's what uh, we're getting, we're getting ready to see. We're going to see uh, Judah being raised up through the spirit to fulfill Yahweh Shai's plans, which is uh, to bring more calamity and judgment upon the earth. Ezekiel chapter 35 and 5 says, Because thou hast a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time of in, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, how I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. See if thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Hey, that's crazy. Do I, you know, y'all about these, 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 these devils, hey, they're going to be more tense each and every day. And to the spirit, you know, the more tense with what Esau is going to be packing more guns, pack, you know, you're going to see, we're going to see this uh, racial war kick off, man. That's, that's the only thing that's going to happen out here to the spirit. And through the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shai, you know, he's going to make inquisition on Esau and bring more plagues and bring more devastation upon the earth, right? Um, and, you know, and on these heathens, you know, through the spirit. Genesis chapter 4 and 9 says, And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not, I am I thy brother's keeper. This, this damn devil, he's proud. And he's going uh, to, and he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood cried unto me from the ground, and now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from my hand. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shall be in in the earth. And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. And that's what these devils, that's what these devils say. You know, these people are made are being uh being uh, made a mockery and a reproach, you know, and everybody's starting to see who the devil is. Everybody's starting to see who the man of perdition is. Everybody's could only point the finger to this goddamn devil, Esau, Edom. And to the spirit, I'll end it there with this scripture, which is Habakkuk chapter 16. It says, Thou art filled with shameful glory. Drink thou also, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be the, thy glory. Hey, the Wadi Alba Shimmy Al Shai, man. Hey, he's raising his spirits ultimately to bring um, these, these prophecies to pass. So, with that, I want to give all.